Never use a contractor unless you have checked him out first, even if it's just Googling his name. Yeah, that's what a Kansas City, Kansas woman wishes she'd done before handing over $2,400 to a man who promised to build her a fence. Fox 4 problem solver Linda Wager has all the dirty details. I was honestly mad at myself for not Googling him first. That, that was a mistake. Allison Vanderveers is talking about the man she hired to build a fence at her home in Kansas City, Kansas. I just Googled free quotes for a fence. That's when she heard from Joe Letzig, who the next day visited her and said he could do the job for $4,800, but he'd need half up front to buy the materials. Being optimistic, I went ahead and gave him the money, and then after that, it was like trying to pull teeth. Nothing happened for more than a month. She finally called him and told him she wanted her money back unless he started working on her fence. There was no materials dropped off, so I had no proof of where my money was even going. Joe seemed to get the message. A few days later, several men arrived and started putting in post. But before the job was even finished, they disappeared. After multiple phone calls and another month of waiting, more posts were installed as well as a few fence boards. But that was it. They didn't contact me wouldn't message me. Needing a fence to protect both her kids and her pets, she asked for some of her money back so she could finish the job on her own. Like, hey, just give me a thousand dollars of my money back. She said Letzig grudgingly agreed. And he just hasn't showed up or contacted me since. So I had my sister act like she wanted a fence. And sure enough, Joe had plenty of time to respond to that call. That's him talking to Allison's sister. But back to Allison. Out of money and patience, she and her fiancé built the rest of the fence themselves. Her biggest regret is not checking out Letzig before she hired him. Because once she finally did, she found plenty. For starters, Joe Letzig has an F rating with the Better Business Bureau. There, we found complaints from people who paid him but never saw any work. Letzig has responded to several of the complaints, saying he still plans to build their fences, though never provides a date. And it's hard to take Joe at his word. Even the Overland Park address listed on his business website isn't his. It belongs to two other companies, neither of whom have ever heard of Joe Letzig or Joe's fence contractors. According to court records, Joe is actually based in Bates City, Missouri, and he's got the lawsuits to prove it, although many of the people who've sued him have been unable to find him, to serve him. One way to check out a contractor is on Missouri CaseNet or in Johnson County, Kansas on jococourts.org. Even good contractors can be sued, but multiple lawsuits against one small company can be a big red flag. There's also multiple complaints about Joe on social media, all from people saying they paid him money and didn't get the work. Fox 4 problem solvers called Joe, who acknowledged that he had promised to return $1,000 to Allison. And as for that Overland Park address on his website, Joe said it was just a mistake. But two weeks after we pointed it out, the mistake was still not corrected. Well, here's the good news. Joe Lexing kept his word about that refund. Allison now has her $1,000. She considers this a problem solved. Fox 4 problem solver Linda Wager, working for you.